Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. With some rumors and speculations as to Horizon 5's Expansion 1 possibly being revealed in a week's time at this year's Xbox and Bethesda Showcase, I want to take a trip down memory lane to the year 2017 and play what was perhaps Playground Games' best expansion ever for any Forza Horizon title, and that is Forza Horizon 3's Hot Wheels expansion. Now, when this got released, I believe back in May of 2017, we didn't know what to really expect, as this was Playground Games' first time collaborating with a quote-unquote fun toy, and dare I say, sort of a young product, but once we got our hands on it and got to explore the entire map, it quickly became an instant hit. So much so that after this expansion, it has still yet to be beat. Now this is all of course in my opinion, and I am excited to show everyone watching this video today why it was so great, and for those that discovered the Horizon franchise years after this DLC was released, unfortunately the Hot Wheels expansion has been delisted from the Microsoft Store, so if you didn't purchase this before sometime in 2020, there's almost no way of owning this ever. But don't worry, I'm here to showcase you the Hot Wheels expansion, but of course the first thing we want to do is actually choose a Hot Wheels car that was part of the expansion. And right now I think we're gonna go with, ooh the twin mill looks pretty good, but I'm not sure. There's so many options. <laughs> I think we'll go with the Mustang. The Mustang seems like a good fit, at least for the beginning. Um, and then we'll head outside to free roam. Let's have a quick look at the car. Man. I do miss the Hot Wheels cars in the Horizon series. Now, they did bring it to Horizon 4 as well with a slight different livery. But um, with Horizon 3, this was the original paint job. And here we go. We are outside of the auto show in the Horizon expansion. And let's do a quick exp... Oh, my gosh. What? <laughs> I forgot the Hot Wheels surface is extremely slippery. And also, I haven't played this game in a very long time. So... Let's uh, see if I can drift around, and then perhaps we can do a race as well. Now, one thing I particularly like about the Hot Wheels expansion map is just the way Playground Games have kind of constructed it. As you can see, like when, when you look at that far mountain at the back, that is pretty much the... Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, this mountain at the back here is pretty much the glass house mountain here in Australia that is located in Queensland. And then of course there's other parts within this, oh my gosh, I really cannot drift guys. <laughs> but there's other parts of this map like the city, which I will showcase a little bit later on. And it's kind of reminiscent of the actual city within Horizon 3, which was Surface Paradise. And then of course there's the nice ocean, which of course showcase Australia's great oceans. And yeah, just overall, it really captures the essence of Australia Australia, but of course with the roads all wrapped around in these orange Hot Wheels layout and it's it's just honestly awesome because oh, Get out of the way All right, I think it's time to do an actual race and I would like to do this particular one here Which is called the stratospheric slingshot and it will drive up the Hot Wheels road that wraps around the mountain that I was just talking about before and the race is just situated right behind this little catapult thing here on oh, break 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 easy <laughs> all right so I have actually not complete the Hot Wheels expansion for some strange reason so this Hot Wheels campaign race I am going to actually do and hopefully complete the campaign a little bit further. So what I have to do is complete 15 drifts or e-drifts along with winning the race and also coming first. Now, let's see. It's an S1 car. Which should I use? Black Edition Horizon Edition? I think so. All right, let's be honest. Um, not the best weather to really showcase this particular race. But anyways, we move along. Hopefully the YouTube compression doesn't really pixelate all of the rain droplets on the screen. But here we go. We are going upside down, inside out, through this glass house mountain, essentially. And um, 
and that's pretty much it. I think we've we've wrapped around the mountain, which I've wanted to do already. But there are three objectives that I've got to complete in this race. The first one is I just got to finish the race, which, I mean, come on. Of course, I'll be able to do that. Second is to win the race. And right now, I'm a little bit unsure because Mr. Jim Jam Slams over there has uh, carried a lot of speed. And the third objective is to complete... 15 drifts or e-drifts within one race and I've already completed six or five five by the looks of things in the right corner and even though I have smashed into some of the objectives like right now um, it still counts now McLaren can you please get out of the way I did not know which way to go <laughs> but we're going on the left hand side and right now I oh my gosh if I look on the bottom left corner Mr. Jim Jam Slams is really far ahead as I'm struggling along with the McLaren up ahead as well. We don't know which way to go. I mean, th this is an extremely weird Hot Wheels layout. And man, I, I really do hope that I win this because if I don't, I'm not going to repeat this again. More sliding. There we go. We have completed our E-Drift challenge and Mr. Jim Jam Slams is just up ahead. Now, am I able to catch him? Let's hope so. But that Donkavort looks extremely quick on the straights. And hopefully I don't... Oh my god, why would there be a speed right before a corner? Are you kidding me? But we are now pretty much... Well, I'm about three cars behind Mr. Jim Jam Slams. Now, can I catch him? Come on, GTR. I know you're a drift boost skill car and not necessarily built for top speed, but nah, I'm, I'm losing him. I'm losing him already. Come on. Get there. No, my driving is absolutely horrendous right now. Come on. Last corner. And I'm... Nah. Nah, no, that Donkavort is way too quick. <laughs> two seconds. We're two seconds behind. But, oh, well, it is what it is. We move on. All right, we are now approaching the city part of this Hot Wheels expansion. And as you can see, when I pan across, it actually looks very nice at night time. Thank goodness it's not raining anymore. Um, but I do want to make my way to the city. So I'm just going to fall off the... Hot Wheels track. Yes, you can still kind of go off-road, which is an excellent thing that I like about this particular expansion. And the thing is, with the city, all of the road layouts is still Hot Wheels. There's no tarmac whatsoever. And you can't necessarily drive onto, like, the pathways or anything. But, yeah, this is pretty much how the, the city looks. And, man, that's one thing I miss about the Horizon series right now. And that is just the main city with skyscrapers because it just makes it feel big and to see this on an actual expansion is you know quite remarkable if I'm very honest let's do another race uh, this time it will be the high-rise circuit so it'll be some Hot Wheels layout through the skyscrapers which will be pretty good now this time I have completed the Hot Wheels campaign so we'll do a rivals instead which will pretty much be a time attack and I'll be choosing an S2 car this time round and of course with S2 there's only one car we can choose and that is of course the Hot Wheels twin mill right here all right so thankfully everything is in broad daylight there's no raindrops so we can see all the scenery we can see how the roads work and it's just all around a better enjoyment for the viewers so Let's take a look at this lap. Now, right now, of course, nothing's really too different. But as we go through the speed boosting, we're now upside down. Now, I will say when I first started playing the Hot Wheels, I was a little bit, I don't know, maybe car sick from looking at this um, because we've gone backwards and the car's so quick. I missed the second boost and we drove right through at least the first part of the the city. And then we are now turning back across to the opposite side coming back now and let's go through this speed hoop firing whatever you want to call it and that's pretty much the exciting part when it comes to the skyscrapers now of course you know with with the city you know we're so used to everything being on the ground particularly with um, car racing games but because this is oh no collision lap time flag oh well that doesn't matter anyway I'm just here to showcase you the, the lap for this particular race and um, yeah one thing I do like about the the Hot Wheels is you know there's different elevations and it creates such a different driving dynamic or atmosphere and it changes it really changes because we're so used to driving on ground level that to then move up to 
you know, certain elevations higher up. It just makes it so much more exciting. And you could even argue that many of the Super 7 or Events Lab creations that we see in Horizon 5 possibly even, you know, got inspired from this Horizon expansion because, you know, I can really imagine someone truly, if they were to spend some time and maybe even have these Hot Wheels assets being used in Events Lab, we would be able to create this within the world of Horizon 5. Anyways, uh, we're about to wrap up today's Expansion 1 video and look at this. We have encountered a dinosaur now up. Uh, just to be sure, this is not Jurassic World. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I forgot that if that thing bites you, it'll it'll push you away quite a fair bit. Now let's see if we can get the AI to get his uh custom. Oh, why did I get pushed away? Let's see the AI. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, so alright, so the dinosaur is uh, actually not part of Jurassic World, it's actually part of the Hot Wheels. Uh, for those who are unaware within the events lab that's uh, in Horizon 5. But um, anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And hopefully within a week's time, we will know the expansion one for Forza Horizon 5. If not, then I don't know what we're going to be doing. Uh, hopefully we will get expansion one for Horizon 5 sometime soon. But uh, yeah, if you guys would like to see more Forza Horizon content right here on this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.